hello students let us begin a new chapter going places although this uh, chapter is being deleted from the syllabus still uh, there is uh, an order of the government to teach all the lessons equally well for the knowledge of the students so that's why we are going to begin this chapter going places chapter is written by air barton now about the author air barton is a modern writer who lives in zurich and writes in english in the story going places barton explores the theme of adolescent fantasizing and hero worship going places introduction to the lesson dear students uh, the story revolves around a teenage girl sophie her family and friends she is a daydreamer who is always lost in her dreams of becoming rich and sophisticated though in reality she is a worker at biscuit factory the story suddenly twists up when sophie make a wild imagination of meeting denny kesi a famous footballer she also makes a story in front of her brother that kesi will come to meet her on a fixed day as per a promise he made to her now students we are going to have a summary of the lesson going places sophie and jency are two teenagers who are coming back from school they both work in a biscuit factory Sophie is lost in her imagination of owning a boutique shop and becoming famous like Mary Quint a fashion designer Jency tells her not to dream big as it requires lots of money which they don't have to this she replies that she will become an actress earn a lot and then own a boutique Jency being a realistic person does not support her thoughts on reaching home Sophie feels choked in that small house which is full of the stove's steam and looks untidy because of the dirty dishes Her father is eating and her mother is busy in the kitchen she goes to meet her elder brother Geoff who is a trainee mechanic and is busy repairing some motorcycle part Geoff talks very less about his personal life which made her imagine of his personal life which she considers very interesting and wants to be part of it she shares a secret with him that she met Dan Casey the famous footballer in a boutique her brother and her father do not believe her but she tries to make them believe this she also tells her brother about her date with kesi her brother does not believe her but gives her a chance to believe her story on saturday sophie and her family go to watch a football match as all of them are great fans of football their favorite team wins due to a goal made by kesi all of them feel so overjoyed when sophie returns home with her little brother derek jency questions her about the reality behind her meeting with denny kesi sophie gets angry with her brother because of letting her secret out but tries to handle the situation and succeeds she then visits a secret place near a canal to meet her hero kesi who doesn't show up she uh, knows that it was just her imagination but she was so lost in his love that she doesn't want to come out of this in the end she returns back to her home with sadness in her heart but when she comes across the royce's boutique she again finds herself lost in her hero's dreams